Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny Rios for those that don't know me. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a life update. I did a poll earlier, like a few hours ago, and I was like, okay, do you guys want to see a life update or would you rather see um, all the equipment that I use? Um, for blogging and YouTube videos. And I honestly thought this one was gonna win, but I'm kind of excited because it literally is just like a spur of the moment video. And I mean, nothing has changed besides, I mean, yes, actually a lot of things have changed. I don't know if you guys knew, but last year I really kind of started setting, setting my mindset on the kind of business that I wanted to do for this year. And of course my blog is a business and everything, but I definitely want to do like a brick and mortar. And I've always wanted to do something in the food industry. So that's always been a dream of mine. And so last year I kind of was really starting to prepare, kind of come up with ideas, brainstorm on what it was that I truly knew that was gonna give me a profit and was gonna be good for the market here in Dallas. And I kind of, I came up with a concept. It's crazy because this year, I don't know, but everything has aligned for me to kind of open up this business. I'll just say it, but basically I wanna open up a churro shop here in Dallas. And I'm really, really excited because I feel like everything is kind of aligning and everything is looking well, guys. So I might not have, um, you know, like a space tomorrow, but I think the proper steps that I'm taking towards that um, are really good and they're gonna definitely be here sooner than later so i'm super excited to show you guys that and to kind of take you on my journey i kind of want to start this churro shop as a pop-up and then i'll be you know in some coffee shops and um, some different places so anyway whenever that time gets here i'll definitely let you guys know i definitely want you guys to be on the journey with me because it's not like an overnight process and i don't want people to think that it's super easy just to like do something I mean, it can be easy if you plan for it, but I definitely want to be able to show, you know, the hard work that goes into it and all the planning to get to a certain place. So that's kind of like the biggest life update, I would say, as far as my relationships and all that. I mean, I'm still single. Like, I really have been single for the longest time. It's like ridiculous. And I honestly don't even think I know how to date anymore. But I'm honestly just working on not even like working on myself like i'm just trying to work on having my own thing i feel like sometimes in relationships you get a little bit lost if it's not the right person and you end up derailing from productivity and just from like doing things that you need to do because you're so invested in this other person but i feel like whenever it is the right person it's gonna be super easy um it's gonna be they're gonna compliment my life and I'm, I just feel like whatever I'm doing now, they'll be able to like come on board. It won't be like them taking me away from everything that I've built, if that makes sense. Last year, I went through a couple of relationships, I guess, or I was talking to several people, not at the same time, but I did throughout the year. I feel like a few of the people that I was dating, it was just like for fun. Like I wasn't even like, I didn't think that it would go anywhere. One of them, I did think it would go somewhere, and I'm honestly still a little bit annoyed about it, but it's okay. Um, but other than that, like this year, I've gone on, I think, one date so far, and it was cool. It was fine. It was whatever. But I mean, it's not going to go anywhere, honestly, so I just like let that go. And currently, there's someone that I have an interest in and i'm not gonna say like any details i honestly think he's so cute i got to hang out with him because like i can think someone's cute but if i don't like their personality if i don't like you know where they're going in life like it's just not gonna work out and honestly he's literally such a sweetheart so nice but anyway all right next topic <laughs> um so next topic 
I'm going to Coachella in three weeks with my best friend, Camille. I'm really excited about that. It's my first year going, so I know it's going to be lots of fun. I'm definitely going to collab with lots of companies, and I'm going to go to LA, so I'm, I'm going to get to hang out there with some friends. So I'm super, super excited about that trip. I think it's going to be super dope and fun. I think I may go in May um, to Mexico City, so that's an another cool trip. For sure, I'm going to Miami for swim week. So I'm super excited because like that was literally the highlight of my year last year and I'm so excited to do it all over again. It's like I feel like I was born for Miami Swan Week. I really do. I mean other than that like that's really it. I've just been working. I've but my focus now more is on my churro business as opposed to my blog. Like I'm still obviously doing my blog and the Dallas Yum, which is my other blog, which is my food blog. And I'm doing both um, still, but I think I'm also trying to put a lot of my energy onto making sure I have everything good and ready to go because for sure by September, I'm going to do an event, like a catering event for Jennifer and Danny, which are my friends that are getting married. Um, they actually met through me, so it's kind of like ironic that, you know, I'm gonna do my churro stand at their wedding. I don't know. But basically, we have a lot of plans coming up, um, and I'm just really proud of my friends because I feel like everything that we say we're gonna do, we do it, um, and I'm just like really thankful that God gave me friends that push me to be a better person and hopefully I push them to also um, be ambitious and to also do better and be better. So I'm really excited for just kind of like all my friends and everything that we're doing. Of course, life update, I got my hair done. Like, ah, do we love it or not? Um, I did get extensions. So I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like extensions here. And I love it. It looks so full. It looks so good. I do have to go back because it's supposed to be black, like the extension. So I just have to get a glaze over it. But honestly, I love it. Like I was kind of, not that I was bored with my blonde hair. I love my blonde hair. But I just feel like in this stage, I feel like I just needed to go sleek. Um, I needed to do a 380, 160 one of those um just because I feel like I'm going into a new stage in my life and I kind of want to make sure that my look kind of matches that stage in life if that makes sense so that's why I changed it up shout out to Carlos my boo he always does a great job doing my hair he literally is the best guy so if you guys need like your hair done he is literally your go-to guy like he's awesome just wanted to change it I just felt like it was time for a change and you guys love it as much as I do because I see the comments but anyway um honestly I think that's really it as far as like just right now and where I'm at as you guys know I do live with Camille I am looking into some apartments maybe a house um I definitely want to move out by maybe like May-ish just because I want to get my own place and I just feel like it'll be good for me as far as like creative like creativity and and kind of just like I don't know step out of my comfort zone and I feel like when you're in the same place for a while it's kind of like you're just like in a rut and so I love change I am an Aquarius I, I live for change I get really bored easily so I love to change all the time and so I think me moving out is gonna be like a, it's gonna be a really good thing so I'm gonna be sad because I won't be with my best friend all the time but I think it's like time also she has a boo a boyfriend Tony and I feel like I have to say this because Camille is like an extension of my life like she's like a limb so I feel like I have to say like whatever her life is like that's my life like that's my life update so I'm gonna tell y'all Basically, like, this guy is super nice. Their moms, like, Camille's mom and Tony's mom have been wanting them to, like, get together for the longest time. And they finally, like, went on a date last year and, like, hit it off. And, like, ever since then, Tony has been obsessed with Camille. That's the story. I know Camille loves him. Likes him? Loves him? I don't know if they've said that word. But I know they truly just are like so obsessed with each other he is such a nice person like honestly like from day one he became like a brother to me like he's super cool super funny um he cooks he washes our dishes <laughs> like I never want to get rid of Tony but yeah so I mean as far as like 
Camille, yeah, she's dating. This is like a serious relationship. And I'm like really happy for her because I mean, heck, like, I don't think I'll ever find anyone. And honestly, for her, I was like, dang, it's gonna be, you know, maybe even a little bit harder for you. And nope, Tony came right in. He's awesome. And like, I'm really just happy for my friend. Like, I'm so happy that she like literally found like the perfect match like seriously like it's it's amazing so I love it and I love seeing it so that's another like pretty big life update um even though it's not my life it is part of my life because Camille is like my sister so I mean yeah that's really it I mean as like I don't want to make this life update forever long because I'll keep updating you guys um when you know things kind of fall into place but as far as of right now in 2019 this is kind of where i'm at what i'm doing and yeah that's pretty much it so thanks for watching guys make sure to subscribe because you have to subscribe to my youtube channel and i know everyone says that but like seriously subscribe like my video comment if you have any questions like i want people to get to know the real me seriously on my youtube channel so like ask me any questions like i would love to answer them but yeah i hope you guys learned a little bit more about me i hope that was interesting hopefully it didn't take too much of your time and i'll see you guys next time Okay guys, so I actually came back. The shirt that I'm wearing is for the Awaken conference that's coming up over Memorial Day weekend. It's a three day conference. I'm honestly so, so, so excited for this. Like literally since the beginning of the year, I was like, dude, I need to go to this conference. Um, it's through Watermark of uh, Church. And if you guys don't know, I usually go to the porch on Tuesdays, which is a young adult service. It's amazing. I love everything they ever, like they talk about. It's so practical. It's um, it's basically just a whole bunch of Christian young adults coming. And even if you're not a Christian, like you can come and literally like you get so many life lessons out of everything. And so basically this conference is going to be like the porch on steroids. And so I'm honestly so pumped about it i really want everyone to go and i actually do have a code so if you are planning on going or if your friends want to go um you can use my code and get 10 percent off your ticket it's gonna be really fun and god is just such a big part of my life and without him i wouldn't be here without him i wouldn't have what i have and so i love sharing like his love and everything you know that he has done in my life with others and that's why this conference is just gonna be so great. It's gonna be like that really awesome step for people to like grow their spiritual life. So if you, if this sounds like something that you would wanna go to, just I'll put all the information down below so you can check it out. It's gonna be dope.